Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Dita Flight 7 sunglasses. But first off, we have today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, our website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 57 millimeter lenses and a 16 millimeter bridge. In my opinion, these are kind of a modern interpretation of the original military spec HGU 4P sunglasses by American Optical and Randolph Engineering. With their squared off lenses, Lenses and the classic double bridge fit. As you can see, these also have these really nice looking uh, flat lenses to them, which is definitely very modern and stylish. These frames are extremely lightweight and they're completely made out of titanium, or I should say the metal frames are completely made out of titanium. And then they also have these absolutely beautiful acetate ear rests, which look really, really good. These are kind of a hybrid between skull ear rests and the classic bayonet ear rests. And it's kind of a really, really cool combination, which definitely looks really good uh, behind the ear. This acetate really pops when wearing these outdoors. The colorway that I have in today's video has these absolutely beautiful yellow gold frames and then brown polarized lenses. Now these lenses are CR39 lenses, so they're going to be a plastic lens, not an all glass lens. And the reason that Dita decided to go with CR39 lenses is because these frames, again, are completely made out of titanium. So if these were all glass lenses with the lens size coming in at 57 millimeter lenses, they'd be completely too top heavy and they'd be completely out of balance so they would be very uncomfortable and they'd want to fall off the face very easily as well. But the optical clarity of these frames is still really, really good. They're going to block 100% of UVA and UVB rays as well, which is extremely important for your eye health. And then of course the polarization blocks 99% of glare, which really helps reduce eye strain. And also which helps reduce eye strain is the fact that these have a really nice anti-reflective material, which really helps uh, block the sunlight coming in and bouncing off the lens and going directly into your eye. Now with these frames, Dita has done a really Really good job uh, with some of the etching and some of the fine details here. So these sunglasses have this absolutely beautiful etching here on the lower bridge and then here up top on the top bridge we can see a really nice etching and then also here in the temples of the frames as well and then also here on the titanium nose rest we can see the little D the shield logo and then a little bit of etched grooves which really help the frames uh, sit on the face and uh, not slip down the nose. Now as far as coverage from the sun goes, these sunglasses have a two base curve to them, so they're going to offer the best coverage from the sun. So here up top we can see uh, there is definitely a pretty big gap that does let sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the sides again, there is a really big gap that does let sunlight in unprotected. So these are definitely not the most practical pair of sunglasses out there. Now these frames are made in Japan. They say that here in the inner right temple of the frames, they just say made in Japan etched kind of into this beautiful acetate material. And for those of you who don't know, Japan makes probably some of the absolute best eyewear in the world. So that's definitely a good thing that they are made there. Now, if we take a look here in the outside uh, right ear rest, we can see this little Dita uh, gold logo kind of embedded into the acetate, which is there for authentication purposes, and also looks kind of cool as well, but it is relatively discreet, and it's not really loud. It's not, you know, kind of labeling or anything like that. These frames do have very nice and premium all metal hinges, and they just feel very, very good when you open up and when closing them. They just feel very nice and substantial. And then if we take a look here in the inner right temple, we can see they say Dita, and then in the in our left temple, we can see they say Flight 7. Now, as far as pricing on these goes, these are going to run you $625 directly from Dita's website and in most stores. However, you can usually pick up a pair a little bit cheaper on Amazon, maybe $200 cheaper. So I'm going to leave a link in the description down below directly to Amazon where you guys check the sunglasses out for a pretty big discount off the original MSRP. So overall, this is a great looking pair of sunglasses. Now, to make these sunglasses fit perfect, in my opinion, I would personally prefer that they were two millimeters smaller and they would come in at 55 millimeters. I think these are a little bit too oversized for my particular face size, but I know that the oversized look is what Dita was looking for uh, with this pair of sunglasses. And they definitely still look really good on my face, but I think to make them look a little bit classier for me, I wish they were downsized. Again, like two millimeters to like 55 millimeters or maybe 54 millimeters. I think that would be really, really perfect sunglasses for me. Uh, but either way, these do look really good. The build quality is absolutely fantastic. They're made in Japan. And again, the price tag coming in at $625 is a little bit steep, but if you do pick them up for $400, I think it's a really good price for a really good pair of sunglasses. Well, that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up below, and of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and then you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.